so what we are going to be doing today uh, we are going to be understanding and looking at uh, some of the content of electricity grade 10 right so now i think it is fairly important that before we start with this concept that we get you know a little bit of uh, an understanding in terms of what is electricity right so basically electricity we can define it as you know uh, electricity we can it can be described as a process of giving energy to a charge and then using that energy to do work right so basically the definition is basically going to be uh, is the process is the process of giving energy isn't it that we know that electricity uh, provides us with energy so it's a process of giving energy to a charge to a charge so that it does what uh, and then that particular uh, uh, that particular charge or that particular charge which is being given energy it is then used uh, to produce the work so it's then using that and then using that particular energy to produce work or to do work so basically that is our basically that is going to be our understanding of uh, the concept of electricity now uh, it is important that we understand that some of the basic uh, thing about electricity it is that uh, electricity is made up of a power source so when we say you have electricity you have a certain component a certain component which provides us with the power source it's usually your power source when you say you have electricity it's that particular component which gives electrical energy so this what it provides or it gives a electrical energy so that that is what this uh, particular uh, power source does a and now in order for you to also understand in terms of the work of relation or rather the relation of electricity is that now electricity uh, provides a uh, power uh, it provides or rather the power source provides an electrical energy uh, to a watch to the load right it provides what we call our electrical charge to our load right so a load is basically that component it is basically that component or device uh that component that uses electrical energy so basically that is going to be a load so it is important that you understand that electricity therefore with the power source they have uh, the dialectical relation right so one depends on the other how to get so basically uh, now uh, for your load it basically depends solely on your power source in order for it to produce its electricity right so now uh, therefore if we then can understand in terms of the concept of what happens if they say now your battery is flat so now uh, basically when your battery is flat or when you arguably say now this battery is flat so a flat battery uh, it is when it is when now there is no electrical energy being given out right uh, which means uh, it's when all the stored energy has been uh, converted to electrical energy so it's when all the stored energy all the stored electrical energy all the stored or rather all the stored 
I think it is all the stored chemical energy which has been used up, right? So it's basically all the uh, chemical energy, chemical energy, which is then uh, being used up. So it's the chemical energy that is used up as electrical energy. All right, okay. So basically that is the concept of us understanding in terms of what happens to our uh, to our battery when they say arguably that your battery is flat, right? So now it is important that now uh, your electrical energy can be converted in different formats, right? So our electrical energy, so our electrical energy can be converted to different formats, right? So uh, others, you know, that we use electrical energy, let's say, for example, or we use our electrical energy for heat. We use our electrical energy for light. We use our electrical energy for kinetic. And we also use our electrical energy for chemical. For chemical use. So basically, uh, these are some of the different formats where our electrical energy it is uh, are being used. So this is just, you know, a, a little bit of background understanding of the concept of electricity. So which means now when we say there is no electricity, which means now all the chemical energy is being used up, right, uh, to produce that particular electrical energy, right? So that's what we mean when we say uh, your let's say your battery is flat now now uh let's now get an understanding in terms of uh what happens when let's say uh you have uh this basic circuit let's say you are given this basic circuit let's understand in terms of what takes place uh in that particular basic circuit right so now obviously this uh you know that this is going to be our cell right and this is going to be let's say this is our light bulb our light bulb right so now we want to understand in terms of what takes place usually within the circuit so now we know that basically our cell what it provides our cell it provides us with chemical uh, energy which is then converted to electrical energy so our cell provides us with what we call chemical energy chemical energy which is then converted to what to electrical to electrical energy right but what we find in a cell usually it's our chemical energy that's why if you you know it happens that you open a cell you'll see that there is a powder like type of thing that you find inside there because it consists of what chemical energy out again so this is what takes place within our cell now let's understand in terms of what is therefore the functionality now of the wires so now we are saying these are our conducting wires and now let's understand what is its functionality so the conductors basically uh, what it does the conductors is that uh, they take energized charged to the load so what this after after the uh, the chemical energy now have then converted it uh this energy into the electrical energy the conductors now uh so what the conductors do hopefully this is still visible so the conductors the conductor takes take the energized what now the energized charges energized uh energized charges so this basically what uh, your conductor do it takes the the energized uh, charges to a what to uh, a load to a certain load and now you need to understand that remember that within a conducting wires within a conducting wires uh, now electricity flows through as what as charges as charges of energy so what the conducting wires do basically their function is it is to take now the energized uh charges to take the energized charges and then now transport them throughout the uh the circuit to that specific uh uh to that specific load which is going to then take that particular 
uh, any uh, chemical energy and convert it into different formats of energy how to get so which means now the functionality of our conductor is that it takes so which means now here within the circuit this thing it takes the energized uh charges right to a certain load now when it reaches here now when it reaches here now uh, that particular electrical energy now this electrical energy is now converted into uh, performing its function right so the electrical energy now this electrical energy is now converted to what to light energy let's say now where uh, you are having a different thing let's say you are probably having your uh your uh, let's say your heat or something here so which means that particular uh electrical energy was then going to be uh converted to your heat or any other thing but uh this uh electrical energy needs to perform its function now therefore and then once it it is done then so what will happen what will happen now is that the conductors will return to the charges to power source to get more energy right so now once this uh, energy uh, is being fully used up within the circuit so now what will then the conductors do so when they move here now the conductors so your conductors now so what will the conductors do the conductors are uh, return so they are going to return to uh to the power to your power source which which is in this case going to be your cell to what to get to get more energy to get more energy right to get more energy so that it can continue to light so basically this is one of the relationship that takes place within your circuit now your cell takes your chemical energy and converts it to your electrical energy and then the conductor the conducting wires now transport that particular electrical energy all together so it takes those energized charges remember energy flows through uh, as charges those energized charges into that power uh into that load in this case it's your light bulb so which means that electrical energy now is taken and is converted to perform that particular function whether it's to light or to do anything and then now once that all that uh, electrical energy is being used up the conductor uh the conductors now return back to what to collect the power source to get more power source within the circuit so basically this is just the, uh, the general understanding of what takes place within the circuit now we are going to look at uh in terms of now what is our current right so because in our electricity or within our electric uh, circuit we we say we have our current so basically the current is the rate of flow of charge so and uh, your current is the rate of flow of charge so this is going to be uh your current right so now usually now it measures in terms of how uh, does that particular or how do those particular charges within that particular circuit flow right so now usually uh, our current it is measured as i is equals to q over uh time as you get so now let's firstly understand in terms of what is the significance of the i so now our i is the what is the current strength so now this uh, it is basically the current strength in terms of uh how is your current flowing within that particular uh, circuit so your i therefore is going to be your current strength it is your current strength so basically uh that is going to be uh that is going to be your i and then now q is therefore going to be the charges in coulombs so now this q therefore it is now the what the charges remember we said current it is what the rate of flow of charges so now q now gives us in terms of the charges in coulombs 
so q gives us the the charges in coulombs and then now uh the t now it gives us our time in seconds now in terms of how remember as soon as they say the rates there is time right so the rate is the time and then the the flow of charges is the q so that's why we are saying now uh our current therefore it is the rate of flow of charge uh of charges i will i will to get so now this is basically uh the general understanding of this but moreover now what is it that we also need to understand about our current it is that now the si unit of current so we have the si unit the SI unit of current is what? It is amperes. It is ampere, which is uh, symbolized as what? As your A. So, therefore, when they say now, what is therefore going to be the units for your uh, current? Therefore, it is going to be your what? It is going to be your amperes, which is A. Right. Now, uh, I think it is also important that we now understand in terms of the, we are saying now uh, charges is measured in coulombs. But now, what is this coulomb that we are talking about, right? So coulomb is basically is that particular quantity of charge which passes. So basically, we are saying now our 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 coulomb. So uh, we are saying now a coulomb is that uh, is that quantity of charge which passes a fixed point so we are saying which passes a certain fixed point a certain fixed uh point in a conductor in a conductor in one second in one in one second hopefully this is still visible uh in one second uh, now, in one second, when what? Uh, when this conductor carries a current of one amperes, so it is basically going to be the conductor. Uh, it's going to be your coulomb. So we are saying now the coulomb is that quantity of charge which passes a fixed point in a conductor in one second and carries a what? Carries a current uh, of one amperes. That's okay. So basically, that is going to be our our coulombs so we are saying uh current it is the rate of flow of charge now we are saying now how to then do we then uh measure our rate of, uh, of flow of charge we are saying now it is uh going to be your i which is your q over t where your q represent your charges in coulombs in terms of uh how are the charges passing and then now this therefore measures the rate the time in second is now the rate so now the, while the the current is basically the strength of that particular uh, electrical current that is uh, being carried throughout that particular conduct. So basically, this is the overall understanding of current in terms of uh, our electricity. The potential difference. The potential difference. Uh, which is, you know, commonly known uh, as your voltage. Others, you know, they call it your voltage. But basically, this is your potential difference. Now, uh, and then now we are going to firstly understand the definition of our potential difference. So now, uh, across the ends of our conductor. So now, isn't it that we are saying the potential difference is our uh, our voltage? And we know that now, this is therefore going to be what? Uh, it is going to be found or it is within uh, across across the ends of the conductors the ends of the conductors it is the end of conductors uh it is it is across the ends of conductors uh is therefore the energy is that particular energy transferred Per what? Uh, this is going to be per uh, per unit.
electric charge. So this is going to be a unit electric charge that flows that flows through it i know i don't know probably that this you know uh this definition would you know uh so but basically now what potential different is is that now uh, our potential different is it measures the work done over your, your your charges right so now which means now the v remember the v it is the potential difference and potential difference we we are saying now uh, uh it is measured in uh, it is measured in what in volt in voltage so it is measured in voltage and we are saying now our w represent the work done or it is going to be the energy transferred so now this it, it represent our work done right so our work done by that particular voltage or by that particular uh, power source or it is what it is that particular energy which is transferred which is transferred so basically that is going to be your w and your q now it is the charge remember that now the energy that is transferred uh, your energy that is transferred within the the your your what your circuit it is transferred through charges so therefore your q therefore it is what is the charges so or your q represents your charges and remember that your charges is always in coulombs so this q uh, measures that so now basically if uh, let's say uh now uh, your you are having now when we are still on potential difference now there is this analogy which i want to use now let's say uh for argument's sake we you have this as your cell right you have this as your cell and you are given your resistor here your resistor and you have this your switch you switch and they say your switch is op uh, is open right uh this and then you are having now your what your voltmeter which is always connected in parallel to your cell so now we are saying we have this thing called an emf so now what is therefore our emf so basically our emf is the voltage measured so our emf is the voltage measured when our switch s or when this switch let's say we make this our s uh, uh is the voltage measured when the switch is open uh or is the voltage measured across the terminal let's use the right wording across the terminal when our what when our switch when our switch is what is open so now when you are having an open switch uh now this when you are having an open switch now you are going to have your emf or rather the voltage that is going to be measured here it is going to be our what it is going to be our emf EMF. our emf is going to be uh now that uh, that uh voltage measured when the switch or our switch s is open while now our potential difference we said remember our potential difference it is that now it is the one that is measured across the ends of the conductor right uh when so which means now for you to measure the potential difference of the circuit the switch firstly must be closed so that you can know in terms of how uh, of your potential uh, energy or your energy is being transferred uh, per unit within that electric uh, circuit so now which means our potential different it is when this is closed to understand in terms of how of the energy is transferred per unit charge uh, that flows or per unit charge within this particular circuit so that's therefore the distinction between our potential uh, our potential uh, difference and also our emf so now uh 
we are looking now at the, what is the therefore the relationship of resistance and also our ohm's law right so now on on a general basis uh we can say now basically our resistance i think from the word resist we can say that now it is one that opposes the flow of electric current all together so that's uh or we can say now it is the conducting material so on or peripheral you know phase we can say this it is what it is this particular uh uh conducting material material that that what that opposes uh or opposes or the that is the opposition or opposes the what the flow of electric uh current the flow of electric current uh of elect it's electric current so that is going to be your resistor and i i think from uh this way the resist which means now it prevents the flow of electrical current right so however now it is can also now be defined as now uh the resistance is what it is the ratio so it can also be defined as now the resistance which we also are uh, abbreviated as r is the what is the ratio uh it is the ratio uh the ratio of the potential difference the ratio of our potential difference of our potential difference which does what across the resistor and the current through it or in it so it is what it is the ratio of the potential difference uh and across our resistor and what and the current and the current in it remember that our uh, if we measure our resistance so our resistance remember when we measure our resistance our resistance it's always what it is always what the the it is what the potential difference so it's v over what our i right which this is your potential difference this is your current and this is your resistance how to get so therefore that is what basically our resistance is about while now ohm's law now if you can uh, now get to understand in terms of what is our ohm's law it states that now the current in the conductor is directly proportional so our ohm's law states now uh it states that now the the what the current in a conductor the current uh in a conductor is what let me finish here in a conductor is directly directly proportional to uh the potential difference to the potential to the potential difference across it uh to the potential difference potential difference across what across it provided what provided uh temperature uh, across its provided temperature across its provided temperature remains constant 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 
So uh, basically, that is that is what. Uh, the, basically, that is what our uh, our Ohm's law states. Of it again. So uh, our Ohm's law, which is uh, given by what it is also given by v, which is equals to uh, your ir. That now it is what uh, our Ohm's law states that now the current in a conductor is directly proportional to your potential difference uh, across it provided the temperature remains constant so basically that is our understanding of our ohm's law so so now uh, we are going to understand in terms of what is uh, we're going to understand in terms of the different connections now in terms of what happens when your connection is in series and what happens when your connection is in parallel right so i, I think just firstly from the weight series one can think of something that is joined, right? I know most of you watch Ceruses, so I think you'd understand that uh, Ceruses are those joint events type of documentaries or movies, right? So think of series of something that is joined, right? Something that follows a certain pathway, right? So now, one thing that we then therefore need to understand about series is that now, there is only one pathway for a current to flow. So now, can you see that if uh if let's we are saying our current e is connected in uh if our current is connected in series so what will happen so it is going to have one electrical pathway let's understand that now can you see if our current flows here can you see that it is only going to have this route to flow going back here right it is only going to have this one route only to flow right uh so so therefore we are saying now it consists of one electrical pathway to follow because now there is no any other way that this uh, electrical uh, current can flow through this uh, circuit uh, now so now we are saying now as if there is one electrical pathway so as soon as now this uh, these resistors are connected in what uh in series so now the current is going to be the same everywhere so now the current that flows throughout this circuit the current is therefore going to be the same it is going to be the same in the entire circuit in the entire circuit so the the the, the current that will flow here let's say you 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 have your ammeter one here let's say you you conduct your or you connect your your ammeter one here the current that is going to be measured here and if you connect another ammeter here it is going to be the same because the current that flows through your circuit uh your your, your series circuit it is the same right uh now now but now one of this uh the disadvantage of this now it is that now one thing now can you see that now if let's say this bulb let's say this is bulb a this is bulb b this is bulb c so now let's say our bulb b is faulty our bulb b is faulty can you see now that this is not going to if this now doesn't work can you see now that it is going to create a disconnect or a disjoint and if it creates a disjoint, therefore, which means the entire circuit, the entire circuit is not going to work. So this is one of the disadvantages that now if the, sec the circuit is broken at any point. Now, if the circuit, if the circuit or if uh, the circuit is broken. At any point. The entire circuit won't work. The entire circuit. The entire circuit won't work. Won't work. So basically, now that is going to be uh, a one of you know the 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 the, the, the biggest challenges of uh coming uh, of connecting uh your resistors in series out together is that now this. 
now if one stops to function for some uh, other weirdly odd reasons the entire circuit it's not going to uh, uh work however now one thing that we need to take note now about about the potential uh difference of this is that now let's say the the the, the cell here the the cell that uh uh, that prov uh, that is provided to us here it's one comma five and one comma five let's say you are having three d that provides this entire circuit now this the cell all of the three cells are going to share this potential difference evenly so which means now uh the the supply of this cell is going to be divided evenly out okay. which means this for example which means uh, in this case this is going to receive one v this is going to receive one v and also this is going to receive one v if it is given that all of these uh, bulbs are the same out okay. so we are saying now uh, what happened is that now the cell uh the the supply of the cell is divided uh up into three equal parts so the cell is going to be divided into three equal uh parts of this particular circuit if they are what if they are connected in series and if these parts are the same how to get so that's one uh, of uh, another you know uh, advantage of your uh, series circuit so now let's come the side and look at our our parallel now remember we are trying to you know to compare this now uh now one thing that you can uh, already see can you see that already this consists of alternative pathway to get to think of it can you see that the current can flow uh can flow here comes in here comes in here and flow back here or it can decide that it flows this side and this side or it can decide that it flows here uh here and it goes back to your entire circuit right so therefore what happened is that now the current split into three equal parts for each branches right so which means the current is going to be split into three equal parts for each branch of this right so which means we are saying the current is split or our current is going to be split uh, is going to be split into three what into three equal parts so now and you can see that now compare comparingly the current of this is different because remember we said the current here is the same however the current of the parallel now is going to be uh split into three equal halves now one thing that you also need to take note it is that now a uh, now if let's say this bulb le let's name this also your a your b and this your c this your c now if let's say for some weird reason your bulb your bulb a no longer functions uh if your bulb a no longer functions can you see that your bulb b and your bulb c because the current will still uh be able to continue to flow throughout this right because if this is function can you see that the current will pass here flow back to your cell back to your cell right so which means if your bulb a is faulty your b and c are still going to continue to to flow now which means now if one branch breaks so if one branch or if one bulb break what will then happen uh the other two are still going to continue to uh uh to receive or to to light or to function or to get uh the two will still conduct current so we are saying now the remaining two let me uh the remaining two the remaining the remaining uh bulbs or the remaining uh two bulbs will continue to to what it was going to continue 
to function or to light right so which means now if this one belt uh breaks now the this is going to continue the other two are still going to continue to uh to function now one last thing now about your potential difference right so it is that now uh, now each cell now each of these cell each of these cell is going to receive the full potential difference so each of this cell is going to receive the full potential difference and thus therefore that's why when uh usually in our homes uh, our 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 bulbs are connected uh, in parallel so that all the bulbs are going to receive let's say this is this was 3v all the bulbs are going to receive the the full 3v and thus therefore the brightness of all these bulbs are going to be the same because all of them when they are connected in parallel they're going to receive the full uh the the full cell or rather the full potential energy of the cell in all this so which means now the potential difference the potential difference hopefully this is still visible the potential difference uh, provided by the cell is going to be the same so the potential difference across uh the, the the parallel the parallel uh cells or the parallel bulbs is going to be the same and as a result the you know the the magnitude of brightness the magnitude of brightness of all these bulbs are going to be the same while here comparingly if these were not the same the brightness of these were going to differ in three stages the other was going to be much brighter you know much dimmer and the other one dimmer out together while in parallel all of them they are going to be uh uh, the their level of brightness is going to be the same so which means when we are saying the level of brightness is going to be the same which means they're going to light in the same magnitude so basically that is it when it comes to you know our, our parallel connection versus our series connection so these are some of the distinctions that one needs to take note of now let's now look at our resistors when they are connected in series so now uh, let's look at uh, the last component now we are saying resistors in series now what uh, do we know already we know that now uh, in resistors in series the current is the same through each uh, through each resistor so the current remember we said the current here is the same so that's what we've emphasized that the current now uh, if it's in series the current is going to be the same uh, now however your voltage your voltage is going to be split uh, it is going to be split up across the resistor uh, it is going to be split up across the resistors so our our our, our uh, now our voltage is going to be split up that's why mostly one becomes uh, a little bit uh, brighter while the other one becomes you know a little bit dimmer now uh, another thing that now we said now for example uh, usually uh, now the voltage is directly proportional to the resistance in the series combination so we are saying now the voltage the voltage here is usually what are uh, directly proportional directly proportional to the resistance i will just uh, explain this briefly now to the resistance now remember that uh uh 
your if you are looking for your r remember if you are looking your for your r r is equals to v over i so what does that mean it means that now if you add more resistance your potential difference also is going to increase and your uh, your flow of current is going to decrease because resistor is inversely proportional to current however it is directly proportional to your voltage right so which means now if you add more if you add more of your resistance your voltage is also going to be increased i would get so that's basically uh what it means that the the, the voltage is directly proportional to the resistance uh, I, I want to get and which means now our voltage now remember we said now our voltage is being divided and which means this now uh which means once uh, light a little bit brighter while the other one light a little bit dimmer so basically that what it uh, applies to our resistors which are in series so now now what will happen now if you want therefore the 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 resistors in series so your resistors in series it's going to be always your r1 plus your r2 right if it was for example given that this is your three ohms and this is your five ohms so which means now the resistors in series it was going to be cost to what three uh, it was going to be cost to three ohms plus your what plus your five ohms which equates to what which equates to 8 ohms. So basically, that is your resistors that are in series. Uh, and w remember, we said the current is the same, voltage is being divided, which means now their level of brightness is different. And we are saying now the resistor is directly, uh, is directly proportional to your resistance, which means if your resistor increases, your voltage increases, and your current is going to uh, decrease because this is inversely proportional to your resistor right now let's look at now the resistors uh let's look at now our resistors that are what that are in parallel uh now we are saying now what will happen here remember that this it consists of alternative pathway so now the current is split up through the resistors so your current here is split up through uh your current is split up through the resistors so which means both of these uh, uh or these uh the, these resistors are going to receive different uh uh, uh resistance out again so now we are saying also the current is going to be inversely proportional to your resistance which means now the smaller the resistance, the more the currents that flows through it. We are saying, look, we are, we, we are saying now here, uh, your current, remember that your current is also equal to what? It is equal to voltage over your resistance. So which means now uh, the smaller the resistance, now if the resistance decreases, your current is going to be what? your current is going to increase remember this is your symbol for your current so if now there is uh if the 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 current that flows throughout your circuit increases your resistance is going to what your resistance is going to decrease i, I would take it so which means there is going to be if there is more current that flows throughout the circuit now your resistor is going to decrease i would take it and now uh we are saying now uh now the voltage, oh, so now our voltage that flows, that flows, that flow through the parallel connect, uh, through the parallel co connection, through the parallel. There's one earlier, through our parallel connection or combination is the same, is the same. So that's why we are we are, we are saying now if this uh these two bulbs are going to light in equal magnitude because because now the parallel combination always receives what it always receives the same voltage out to get uh, however 
this is just a what? This is a current divider. Uh, this is only your current divider. However, your voltage remains the same. It's only the current that is uh, divided. And usually this connection, it's the same connection that we found in our homes and everything, right? So now to, cal to calculate now the resistance or the resistors that are in parallel. So, which means now you are parallel. Now, when there are two parallels, it can also be calculated as your what as your r1 multiplied by your r2 divide your r1 plus your r2 and this only applies when there are two uh when there are two resistors right or uh, one can also calculate it this way now it can also be calculated as one over r parallel which is going to be one over r1 plus one over R2 and remember now that at the end you need to now uh, to you know to tip and turn to get your R parallel because you're not looking for your one R parallel however you're looking for what you're looking for your R parallel so basically this is how you get to ca uh, to calculate your resistors that are in a uh, parallel so now one last aspect usually i say your the total resistance of parallel it is always going to be smaller than the smallest resistor while now here the total resistors in series it's always going to be greater than the graded uh, resistor but we are going to do more uh you know exam questions on this so that you get to understand the smaller than the smallest and the greater than the greatest so basically that is as far as electricity is concerned uh, thank you very much.